up, doll collectors, hobbyists, fabs, and besties. I'm Toya, an adult doll collector. Welcome to my miniverse. Today, let's make doll clothes. Taking your doll clothes apart to get patterns is a very easy way to expand your doll wardrobe. We have this one pattern here, and we're gonna use it today to make some different looks. I have a cotton fabric, tulle, 1 8 ribbon, and Velcro. I like to use sleek and thin. I also use a glue that works on fabric and a needle and thread. Let's take our fabric, lay it with the good side facing down, take our pattern, trace it, making sure there is more than enough space for a seam allowance. The traced line is going to be our stitch line, so we're going to cut it out leaving a little bit of a border. Using our sewing scissors, which are just sharp scissors that we don't use for paper. Place the fabric on tool, good side to good side. Cut a large piece. Use a few pins to hold it in place. Using a needle and thread or a sewing machine, sew on the line drawn. Using a straight stitch on three of the sides, leaving one end open. Let's trim off the excess fabric leaving a little extra on the side that is open. Cut the corners and let's make a few small cuts along the curve. Carefully flip it inside out, taking our time so we don't rip the tool. We can place a cloth on top and iron it. I also fold it over and iron down the opened end. I cut my Velcro into a fourth of an inch strip, measure and cut a small piece for the ends, Sew it on using a straight stitch. Test it on a doll inside out. Cut two pieces of ribbon that measure two and one fourth inch. Glue and stitch them on, giving us a cute little top for spring. Let's use this top to make a couple of different looks. And we're gonna try to put everything on one printable pattern. I cut a rectangle of paper that we can use as a pattern. I'm going to cut a piece of fabric for the fitted skirt, no fold, which means we cut a rectangle of fabric that is not on a fold. Lay it so the good side is facing down. I run a zigzag stitch around the edges. Of course, you don't have to, I just feel like it keeps things nice and neat. You can choose to turn it over and fold over and hem the edges, but I'm going to place a piece of tulle on top and sew a fourth of an inch around the edge going all the way around using a straight stitch, leaving an opening. Trim the excess tool if you like, cut the corners. I keep my scraps cause you never know when you can uh, make a scrappy blanket. Flip the fabric inside out through the small opening. I ironed it flat on this side, not that side. Take a fourth of an inch of Velcro I sew the hook side on the good side of the fabric using a straight stitch and closing the side that was left open. Take the other side of the Velcro and sew it onto the inside to make a tube that Velcro's closed. Place it on the doll inside out. Pinch the fabric at the hips to make it fit. I use pins to hold them in place, then stitch along the hip. I'm using a needle and thread. After I get to the top, I just go ahead and stitch right back down, tie a knot at the end, and cut off the excess. Now let's sew the other side. I take a needle and thread, knot it on the end. Starting at the bottom, I go through the fabric, pull the needle from the other side, then go back through. While on the same side, I open the thread just before the knot, then take the needle through it, to uh, <laughs> drop my needle and <laughs> don't do that, don't drop it. But then just pull and lock the stitch. Now my thread is pretty secure and I don't have to worry about pulling it out. Then go back through the fabric, pull it from the other side, then go back through. And we're just gonna go all the way up the side, keeping our stitches as close together and as straight as possible. After going to the top and then back down to where we started, then tie and knot the ends and trim off the excess. To make a very easy fitted skirt, take 3 fourths of an inch off the bottom to make it shorter. Let's cut an even shorter skirt, then cut a ruffle 
on the ruffle line up to 10 inches and on the fold. So it's about this size and the fabric is folded on one end, giving us a 10 by one inch strip. I zigzag all the edges, fold over and hem the bottom of the ruffle using a straight stitch. My seam allowance is probably a little less than a fourth of an inch. Let's make the top of the skirt just like before. Only this time, I'm sewing three of the sides, leaving the bottom edge open. Let's flip it. Almost forgot, let's go ahead and hem the edges of the ruffle, then sew a loose straight stitch along the top edge so we can pull the thread to gather it to the length of the bottom of the skirt. Flip it over and line up the raw edges. I pin them in place, then carefully sew them down. I went back and went over the edge with a zigzag stitch to keep everything nice and neat. Flip the ruffle over, making sure the edges are pointing up. Top stitch it with a straight stitch. Add Velcro and take in the sides to make a skirt with a little ruffle at the bottom. There are so many different things that we can do. Let's cut the ruffle to the full length of the 10 inch gathered skirt on the fold. Hem the bottom, but don't hem the sides. I just left a zigzag stitch. Run a loose stitch across the top just like before to gather, but I leave the ends flat. I pin it to the skirt, but I leave the edges hanging over about a quarter inch actually only on one side. Sew it down, flip it up, sew it down again, add the Velcro, match up the bottom, sew a line stopping before the Velcro, take in the sides to make a longer skirt. We can make a small gather at the top to change it up a little. Let's get ready to make another top and cut out the 10 inch ruffle. When sewing the top, we sew three sides and leave it open on the bottom Flip it and iron it flat. Make the ruffle where it's hemmed on the sides and the bottom. Lay them good side to good side and match up the raw edges at the bottom of the shirt or top. Sew a straight line, then flip it and top stitch it. I pinch the top to make a top with a ruffle just like we did with the skirt with a ruffle that we can now mix and match with the rest of the wardrobe. And on this top, I left the straps off. Let's make it again, but make the top a little shorter by adjusting the seam allowance on the bottom. Let's take the shorter top and add the 10 inch ruffled skirt like we did here. I'm adding the Velcro to about here to make a cute little spring dress that can also be used as a maternity dress with our DIY baby bump. Since the belly is soft, it easily fits under the dress. We show how to make the baby bump in this video. Let's get ready to make another top. Cut out a 10 inch ruffled skirt and a 15. Add a layer of tulle to the top and sew on three sides, leaving the bottom open. If I wanna make the top shorter, I just cut on that bottom line. Then trim off the excess, turn it inside out, iron it flat, and do a zigzag stitch along the bottom. Take the 10 inch and 15 inch rectangles do a zigzag stitch around the edges. Take the 15 inch piece, fold over and hem the bottom. Run a loose stitch across the top to gather. It's a light gather. If you want a thicker one, just make a longer rectangle, like maybe 20 inches. Line the gathered edge up with the bottom of the 10 inch rectangle. And then I'm gonna take the 10 inch and flip it on top so it's good side to good side. Pin them together. I like to leave it flat on the ends. It'll just make it a little easier when we go to sew the whole skirt together at the end. Sew a straight line across, connecting the two pieces together. Sew a top stitch along the edge so it lays flat. Run a loose stitch and gather the top of the 10 inch rectangle, keeping it flat on the ends. Take the top, line it up with one side, flip it over, pin it going all the way across and leave a fourth of an inch of the skirt hanging over on the side so it's flush on one side and goes over on the other. So flip and top stitch. Add the hook side of the Velcro to the side of the dress that is flush. Take the loop side or the fuzzy side, fold over that fourth of an inch of the skirt, then sew the Velcro on top. With the good side on the inside, match up the edges. Sew a fourth of an inch seam allowance all the way up, stopping at the Velcro. I 
actually stopped about three fourths of an inch from the Velcro. Turn the dress right side out and we should have a nice clean closure in the back. Finish the top however you like to add a long dress to the wardrobe. Make a pair of paper sandals from our DIY shoes video to start building our dolls a spring wardrobe. This pattern will be available to download for free on our blog, myfroggystuff.blogspot.com. Thank you for joining us while we had fun doing a little sewing. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at myfroggystuffthefrogvlog and Bella of myfroggystuff. And we will see you next time.